Guys and girls, welcome back to another video. My name is Brandon Rich. Today we are doing, um, well, we're just kind of exploring all the areas. We ended off discovering Mies Grimoire's tomb, and now we're actually going to go into it and uh, see what's up. So let's get to it, I guess. This is going to be an episode of a lot of skipping and fast forwarding as well, because sometimes the areas aren't that enjoyable to, you know, watch watch me go through and play. So that's that. Okay. So. Uh, we don't have the item that we need to get into any of these. I think there's three ways to get in, and if I remember correctly, I believe this is the, let's see, yeah, this definitely is not, yeah, we don't have the item we need, so we can't really do anything here, so I guess we'll go ahead and come back later. I think it might be part of the companion's quest line, but I can't remember exactly. The importance of where. Okay, that I think that's a unique book you can only get in this area. And there's an ebony battle axe. My goodness. That's rad. And then of course there's this statue here. That's pretty cool looking. Okay guys. So, um, it, <laughs> this place is insane. I'm going to get water breathing and candlelight out for this because this is hella deep. Um, I can't, I can't see a thing. Pilgrim's, Pilgrim's Trench discovered. I don't know if there is anything significant in here, but if there is, I'm gonna go ahead and try and find it. There's a chest here. Okay. Dang, this place is just insane. Lots of salmon to catch, that's for sure. Oh, another chest. Okay, I know I do have water breathing on, but I don't think that justifies, like, how deep this water is. Just just look, I'm swimming directly up. Oh my gosh, this place is crazy. Okay, one second. Wow, uh, this is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go down again. It's uh, round two, I guess. I think it lasts 60 seconds, and I swear it takes 10 just to get down here. Look at all these ships. It's insane. The only, the, I think the only plausible way to discover this place is honestly straight up to uh, be, be an Argonian or to wear Volsung or whatever that mask is that lets you breathe underwater. I don't think I have it with me right now though, so I'm just kind of freeballing it right now. Hobbs Fall Cave. I feel like I remember this um, being significant for some reason. There's a whole bunch of blood spatters everywhere. Oh boy, it's a snow bear. Okay, well anyways, um, I guess we're just gonna go straight in. But yeah, as you can see, there's like blood everywhere, so I'm not, I'm not sure what that's all about, but uh, we're about to find out, aren't we? So let's go ahead and enter. Top Small Cave. Yeah, back at Pilgrim's Trench, though, uh, I, I love oceans because of all the creatures in them and all the different, like, e I forget the word, ecosystems. But oceans also terrify the crap out of me, so swimming in water that deep just gives me anxiety, even though it is just in a game. No, oh, I bet there's necromancy left in here. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Called it. But you know what's nice about these people? Get, oh, their robe. That robe was worth nothing. I don't want that. I'm going to have to read what it says before I pick it up from now on. Holy cow. We are getting nothing but junk so far. Is that a chest? Whoa, extra robes. Nice. We can sell those. Let's go ahead and go this way. 
Oh wow. Arch Necromancer. I think those guys are personally harder than the um, Master Necromancers that you fight. I honestly do. Is there anything up here? Huh. It's kind of interesting to put that there. Okay. Continuing up. Ah, I didn't even see it coming. Actually, yes, I do. There we go. What do you have? Greater Soul Gem? You can sell it. I Sorry, yo. Yeah, I'm not searching these necromancers anymore. They don't have the black mage rose I'm looking for. Holy cow. The arch necromancer I will search, however, because, I don't know, sometimes they have good stuff. That one did not, though. Dang. What's hitting us? Oh. <laughs> a measly skeleton. Can we disenchant anything? Is there anything unique that we can disenchant? We'll see. The notch pickaxe is all... Man, I feel like the only enchantment I know of that we don't have yet is the, uh... What do you call it? Oh my gosh, these people were burned on sticks. That's terrible. But yeah, anyways, like I was saying, is the muffled. Where is muffled and move silently? You can disenchant a very select few shoes in the game that have that enchantment. I know some people will think that's just a myth, but I've personally done it myself. If I remember to, I'll show you guys the profile that has it on. Okay, it's like right here. There we go. But yeah, so that's that. We can sell that Grand Soul Gem, even though I had nothing in it. I'm loving these potions of ultimate anything, they're worth quite a bit. Ah, right, here's the chain. Okie dokie. Go this way. Grab these before yeah. they you. Ah, another Necromancer. I knew it. We already know that they're gonna have nothing of value. Ooh! Jab right in the neck. Go ahead and heal up a little bit. A school, no thanks. We offer this soul to the revenant. He who watches hmm. over the opponents. A master necromancer. We offer this soul to the revenant. He who watches over the opponents. Okay, so it looks like these people worship RK. Alright, Master Necromancer, what you got, man? Black Soul Gem, nice. I guess it was worth it. Ah, uh, she's just slowing me down as well. There you go. Shouldn't have hurt me like that. Another Black Soul Gem? Arena. I did not know oh, why. Don't know why I grabbed those boots. I even equipped them to make matters worse. It looks like they were sacrificed. <laughs> Leg of goat. Gosh, these people are insane. Oh, Pantheos Flute. Nice, nice. I bet that is for the Bard's College. So that is now two. We have a loot and a flute. Loot flute. And of course we're going to open this expert lock so we can increase our lock picking. Now nah, I figured to the left, like right here. Nice. Okay, we got a lock pick out of that. And, uh... Well, I think that's everything in this dungeon. Is it clear? It sure is. Alright guys, we'll go ahead and exit out of this place now. This was like probably the most fun dungeon I've had in a while because most of these other areas have been really insignificant or short. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and continue westward and if anything significant happens I'll skip to it or fast forward to it. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, so um, yeah, basically I'm, I'm playing the stealthy this time instead of just rushing in because I want to get my stealth up to 100 and this little punk ass is on the other side up here so I'm going to kill him just because of how much time he's wasted. So let's go around here, oh there he is. Where are you? You're mine dude. Can't hide from me. <laughs> Where is this enemy even? 
I almost got a shot. I guess I was just. What was that? Uh, okay, I don't know why it's not giving us the bonus that we deserve. Oh my goodness, come on. So stupid. Alright, well I guess let's go and uh, be sneaky, shall we? And we'll get the Helm of Winterhold as well while we're here. If this will load. Okay, fantastic. So I'm going to, yep, Sneak Archer. One of the most common play styles in this game, yet I'm doing it. It's a little less cheap than my invisibility dagger combo. <laughs> Holy shit, sneak attack damage finally worked. Alright. That wasn't too bad. See what do we have over here? Nothing. I also have the muffled boots on, so that's kind of nice. Ah, uh, we got a little kitty kitty. Ooh, get wrecked. Sneak increase. Nice, nice. Some books are ruined, some are burned. Either way, pointless. What you have, Kaji? Normally I don't check for these homies, but I don't know, it's a Khajiit. You know, Phil Black Soldier, nice. <laughs> I also want to get my archery up. So I can put some more perks into it. In fact, we'll go ahead and level up and put it into health. And let's go to archery right now. Ah, that's the one I want. The one that you can draw 30% faster. Able to move faster with the drawn bow? Oh my gosh. It's worth it. That's what it's all about right there. Now, now you can essentially move... Like, yeah, you can essentially move just as fast. Wait, what? Hold up. I did not just spend those perks for nothing. Able to move faster with a drone bow. Okay. I feel like, um... That's not happening at all. Hmm, interesting. I feel like, I feel like before... That's so interesting. Yeah, yeah, because before I swear that you would move almost as fast as you would as if you were walking with the wrong bow. I feel like that nothing's changed since I've increased. Yeah, we're gonna open this. That is a flummer. Ah, look at him sleeping. <laughs> Another one? No, just one? Alrighty, sounds good to me. Ah, still in good hands. Told me. Oh, that was not the same. But it was pretty decent, so decent. Okay, well. Amulet Akatosh is not worth its weight, unfortunately. If it's not worth at least 100 per weight, then it's really not worth my time anymore. Oh, we got a bandit chief here, guaranteed chief. Boom! Oh, man, it's good. I love chief. Can you go and check it out? Uh huh, that's right. Oh, nice. Fantastic, we did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're successful. I want to take all her glass arrows while her head is. Ah, she's had one, I see. See what's in this chest at least. She's nice. Can I take that one purse? Is there anything else that's in it? Not that I can see, except for this here. Which we will. Let's see it. Oh, our map is all effed up, and I'm not sure why that is, but it just is. Look at all this food. Okay. Go ahead and get the ammo down here, which is in the Drift Shade Cellar, it appears. What you got? Ah, yes, the chest, nice. Ah, love the scrolls. These things are worth so much for their weight, that's amazing. Ooh, sit down, son. Okay, that's a bunch of device for that world. Man, these guys have a ton of, uh, what do you call it? It's not a golden one. How does he not see me? Oh shit. <laughs> Done. Okay, sweet. Awesome. Glad that worked out. The rear guard? Hey, okay. My armor increased. I'd like to see that. I'm not even gonna collect my freaking uh, arrows back if I lose them. It's like no big for me. Shoot. Should've done that. <laughs> Didn't see me. And what did you think? Are the walls gonna get me away? And these guys be killing all the werewolves. I think this is why you end up actually coming here. I figured if I can uh, get some free sneak on as well. Plus we're not werewolves yet, or I don't know if we have a little bit of that one yet, so it's not like a betrayer for the brother. Okay, and yeah, why not? Let's open this too. I'm sure one of those dead people have the key on them, but I'm also trying to increase my marketing, so that's that. Fantastic. Okay, what's this? Is it a, no, this way. Gotta go over here. Wait, we came from there. Alright, yeah, it's this way. Hey, dude, this looks like a torture chamber. It's crazy. These guys are just killing, they straight up torture them. Pretty dang evil, if you ask me. Ooh, okay, we're gonna kill them first. Oh, what? Are you kidding? You know what? I don't think about that. We were about to sneak attack over a bit. Game is glitched. Okay, that was that was really irritating. Also, I'm not moving fast with this, with this bow, so that's annoying. Ah, hold on. I guess I'm just a little frustrated because I'm like my 
Perk punch, I spent four perks to get three or whatever. I'm working. Yeah, it's not even useful. I don't know if it's good or what. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. Oh, well, we don't want this in archery, even though we don't use archery, so I'm almost in those kind of facts. Holy cow, I appreciate that. I think this is like the last area, so that's it. You don't need that perspective. That's a quite a bit of a moment. You know what? We heard Frostatch next in the way. <laughs> These guys have silver swords, I wonder if you can. Yeah, I don't even know if you can use this enchantment. I'm sure you can, but not that I don't know if you can use it. No, I wonder if you can use it. Can I go down the next one? Yeah. Well, I was hoping there'd be something else up here, but uh, I don't think there is. Where? Okay, cool. That's that, guys. This is that door I was in earlier, so now we get that. But yeah, at least it's a place you can make things faster, which is why there's all the silver swords. I guess we'll come back here until a later date. That's where we're going to go next. I'm not even sure really. You know what? Actually, fine. Yeah, we're going to go through that castle. I'll see you guys when we get there. Fort Bellhammer, alright. Well, let's see if it's significant. Ah, uh, is this one of those war ones? No, it's not. Our uh, archery perk works now, though, so that's nice. What's up, dude? Gods, no! Who's the better archer? Ah, come on. Come on, really? Ah, I got him. She stopped right before I shot. Ah, there we go. Nailed it. Nicely done. Yeah, there's another castle up ahead. Well, I guess we're gonna go ahead and explore this place a little bit, shall we? The fort. Bellhammer Mines? Yeah. What's up, more? There we go. Man, this lockpick literally saves my life. Makes my life so much easier. I'm not sure how she didn't see us, but I'm not mad. Thank you. Is that the chief there? What's up, Buttercup? Ooh, right in the heart, man. That was a freaking bullseye, if you ask me. <laughs> what can I say? I've been doing this a while now. There's someone right over there. Uh oh, someone's catching on. Shoot. No, don't go that way. You little dick face. Got him. Nice. Hoping these guys have some kind of like, I don't know, something on them. Hmm. Is this it? Sure was. Alright, I guess we'll get the heck out of here now. Oh, nice. There is a special skill book down here. I don't think that it takes at. Oh, wow. I don't think it's accessible anywhere else in the game. So that's cool. Well guys, there's nothing significant in there other than a skill book called Orcanism and the Orcs or something like that. It increases your heavy armor. But other than that, there was nothing really down there. So, just an FYI. Hmm. Is there an entrance right here? Oh. Come on. Oh, it's right here. Okay, sweet.
Oh wow, look at this shack. It's like burning up and everything. Hall of the Vigilant. Um, yeah, this place is like Hall of the Bummer. Oh, a death hound. It looks like vampires attacked and uh, killed a bunch of the, um, well, whoever guys were here. It looks like a lot of them died though, rather than the Vigilants of Stendar. That's unfortunate for them. <laughs> Not my problem. I'm gonna go to this giant location now. <laughs> and we killed that mammoth with one arrow, that was insane. The giant's turns. If they if I can find him. Trying to lay low. Red Road Pass discovered. What's up, dude? You little... Did you see that dodge? Oh my good lord. These guys are annoying as hell. First off, no one should be able to dodge like that. That was some AI bullshit. So they took down a freaking giant, these guys of all people. Amazing. I thought there were two giants as well. Did we clear it? We sure did. Red Road Pass, that's all it is. Um, well darn, I was kind of hoping there'd be a chest or something at least, but I guess not. Oh, there is, okay. It's just inside of this log. A mammoth tusk inside of a chest? Oh my gosh, no way. We hit that? It's insane. I really can't believe that. I'm so proud of myself right now. That's a mammoth tusk. Okay. I'm gonna go. 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 I'm Okay, I think we're going to get some. Bring it on, it's time to wow the call. I don't have to do this because I'm going to do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. I'm going to get some. 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 I'm We've arrived at the wreck of Brynhammer, whatever that means. How did I miss you? Okay. Oh, wow, some more crabs. Honestly, this perk I got is so nice. The fact that it just lets you like run really fast. Now I will say when I upgraded it, it wasn't working because I was crouching when I did it, but all I had to do was load a save. Even if you're crouching and you save the game as you're crouching in it, you, you can undo the glitch just by loading a save. Doesn't matter how far into the game you are. Just load like your last save, even if it was during the time where you were crouching. It'll be just fine. But yeah, if you are on one playthrough straight up... Well, I guess I don't know how to explain myself. Let me, let me try to explain myself a little more. So, pretend that at save state 69, I saved it crouched. And I upgraded the perk while I was crouched. It is bugged and it won't let you move fast while the bow is drawn. But let's say that I were to continue on the game way late because I still have that perk right all the way up here and I loaded this one, it would work. So that's all you have to do. Don't know if that made any sense, but that's the most sense I could make of it. Gosh, there's just mud crabs up in here. <laughs> wow, these, uh, oh my gosh, I, I shot him so hard he fell through the boat or into that little bathtub, whatever you call it. A, a novice door, you bet. Oh, epic. 
Even though these guys are just simple mud crabs, these kill cams are pretty radical. If you I do say so. Father of the Nibbin, archery increase. Nice. Go ahead and let you guys read this. I'm not going to read it. I don't even know what it's about. Otherwise, I would explain it to y'all. But it looks like a good story. Just pause it if you need. I don't think it's physically possible to read it this fast as, as fast as I'm turning the pages. Holy cow. That's insane. That was a long book. Okay. Well, uh, before we go... Yeah, I just... I was hoping... Whoa, mud crab legs? Yeah, I just ate those. Basically, if we go to magic, our conjuration is at 100, our restoration alteration is at 100. So these three schools, we still need to do the master spells for. Yeah? And it's funny because conjuration and alteration have absolutely no perks involved. Restoration has quite a few, but uh, we're going to make them let. Well, I don't know. We'll probably make them legendary. We'll see. But first, we wanted to go talk to all the teachers and everything like that. So, in the next episode, we are literally going to do all three masteries for all the schools. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Skyrim Adventures. My name is Brandon B. Rich, and I hope to see you in the next episode.